Hey guys, welcome along to Mishmash TV. My name is Brittany and we are always keen to give you guys free stuff, basically. Uh, we always run different giveaways and have different family passes and things that you can win. But this week uh, and last week and next week and the week after, <laughs> we are running a little bit of a competition for LJ Hooker Matamata, which is basically e as easy as colouring in this competition, uh, this uh, picture that you can find on our website mishmashtv.co.nz. It's a picture of Mr. Hooker Bear carrying a suitcase that has uh, the LJ Hooker logo on it and all you have to do is colour that in, put your details on the back so we need your name, your phone number and your email address so we can contact you if you're one of our winners. Drop it into the LJ Hooker Matamata branch on Ar Arawa Road in Matamata and then you could be in the draw for some awesome prizes. Our judges will be selecting their favourite picture and that person will win a Motat family pass and then we've also got Mr Hooker Bears, we've got drink bottles, we've got heaps of other cool stuff that you could be winning as spot prizes. So make sure you do that this week or next week over your school holidays. But let's have a look at what we've got coming up next. Well, Automoto Primary is where it's happening and where it's at, and I am joined by my special guest presenter, Amelie, again. So what is happening today? Well, today, Brittany, we're going to the year one. Cool. We're going with the year one. Spot yeah, yeah. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Go and check out a cool... Oh, I forgot what it's called now. Doing construction, is that yeah, what it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah, something like that. Cool, so they're doing some construction stuff. I think they're just going to be having lots of fun, basically. Did you ever do stuff like that when you were year one? We're doing some now. We're trying to make a technology workshop. Oh, that sounds fun. Well, let's check out if that's what our year ones are doing here today. Now, I have a few students to talk to from room 25. So what's your name? Maya. Maya. And what's your lion name? Um... <laughs> Oh, I like it. What about you girls? What are your names? Siobhan. Marina. Awesome, cool. I am excited to be hanging out with these guys today because Marina actually has been telling me that uh, she is a big fan of Mishmash TV and watches it all the time. So what do you like about watching Mishmash, Marina? Um, because the cartoons yeah. are really like for kids. Yeah, that is always good, eh? <laughs> it's good when the cartoons are for kids and that you enjoy watching them. Now, what have you guys been doing today? Um, we've been playing with the dress-ups and doing art. Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, because is that why you're wearing a mask? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what sort of dress-ups do you guys have to choose from? Um, Leah and that basket and we can be anything like a grandma or a builder. Okay, a grandma or a builder, that's a lot of options to choose from then. So how often do you guys do days like this? Do you do this every day at school? Um, not all the time. We yeah. don't really do it all the time. We do it sometimes at Discovery. Discovery time, that's what it's called, eh? Yeah. I think there's been a lot of schools actually we recently that have been do doing that. on Fridays. You do it on Fridays? But Oh, okay, cool. Today as well. Yeah, that is awesome. That's mean that you could do it so like we could come and check it out. But I've never watched it. Oh, no worries. We, you can see yourself on TV. Now, one thing I wanted to ask these guys, because it's always good to see what the juniors have to say about this, but what sort of job or what sort of things do you want to do when you're older? Um, what do you want to grow up to be? Be a nurse. A nurse? That's a really good job. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> A daycare. Oh, a daycare teacher. So cool. Yeah, what about you, Miranda? Um, I wanna be I wanna be a pilot. Oh wow. You have to be pretty smart to be able to be a pilot, so I'm sure you'll be able to do that. <laughs> Good work, and girls. One Good of my on favourite movies are uh, Captain America. Oh, very flash. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for chatting to me, girls. Let's see who else we can meet. Well, not only are there activities outside, but there's also activities inside here at Osamoto Primary, and we've got some more of those cute juniors <laughs> to chat to. So, what was your name? Jack. Cool. Taylor. Hannah. Very good. Nice, easy names to remember. Now, Jack, why are you wearing an ambulance vest like that? Um, it's from the tree ups and they're outside, and we have discovery time every single Friday. Is it, is it probably one of your favourite parts of the week then? Yes. Yeah. Why do you like doing Discovery Time so much? Because we get lots of different activities. Yeah, 
true. Awesome. What are some of your favourite activities to do? Um, I like playing with my friend Paige yeah. because we play um, we play fun games like we play mums and dads and we play um, cats and dogs. Oh, cool. Because how does the game cats and dogs work? Can you tell me about it? Hannah's a dog and then Paige is the mum and then I am the um, sister then um, Liam's the um, dad. Cool. It sounds like a very fun game to play. It's always fun playing make-believe and using your imagination and stuff. So what about you, Hannah? What do you like to do? Um, I like to play with Paige too. Yeah? Cool. And what about when you're at home? What sort of stuff do you want to do at home? Um, I draw. Oh, cool. What sort of things do you draw? Persons and stuff. Cool. That is a very good skill to have to be a good artist. It looks like we've got someone else to hang out with now too. What was your name? Charivere. Yeah, cool. And what is your favourite activity for Discovery Time? Um, juggling. Juggling? Really? That sounds cool. What do you do that with? With what? With those bean bags. <laughs> they look pretty fun. Now, just like I was asking those the girls outside, um, if you guys could be anything you wanted when you grow up, what would you want to be? Um, a baker. Oh, why would you want to be a baker? Because it's because they bake stuff. <laughs> would you eat all your food though afterwards? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so you might not even end up selling any of the food that you make. <laughs> I love that. What would you want to be, Hannah? Um, I would want to be a doctor. Oh, cool. What would you want to be? An ambulance. Oh, an ambulance. <laughs> Sounds good. And what would you want to be then, Taylor? Um, a science teacher. Oh, wow. What do you like so much about science? Um, I like teaching kids science, like helping them learn about it. Cool. So do you reckon maybe you could invent a game where you get to be a science teacher um, as well? Yes. <laughs> but if I was growing up, like, if I was 21, I would have been a teacher. Yeah. Very good. That's a good life goal to have. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for chatting to me. It was very nice to meet you. Hey guys, well don't do anything, uh, well maybe pause this video and quickly go and enter into this week's giveaway because seriously it is such a cool family pass that you could be winning this week. Just check out all the details under our giveaway tab at mishmashtv.co.nz. <laughs>time to talk about another awesome Disney film called Tangled which is obviously based on the Rapunzel fairy tale. Now uh, this movie actually set a few sort of different records within the Disney franchise and that is for example uh, it's the longest animated movie that Disney have created other than Fantasia which is uh, which is something that they created ages and ages ago it's a pretty old film also it's got the largest crowd scene in any Disney film so in the kingdom dance scene that's where you can see over 3,000 people in one scene which just seems crazy because that would take a lot of time for the animators to create 3,000 thousand individual people you know how, how crazy would that be also Adina Menzel who uh, stars as Elsa in the Frozen movie she actually tried to be the voice of Rapunzel uh, in the Tangled movie but didn't get it but they sort of kept her file on on file <laughs> and ended up giving her the part of Elsa which was awesome well, we have another dance performance to show you here at Tahatai Coast School in Papamoa. And uh, it's always really cool to see these girls doing their dances and showing off some moves that they've created themselves. So I'm pretty sure the girls that we will be checking out now have done the same thing. They are part of the cheerleading squad as well uh, and have kind of gone off from that and made their own dances and own moves and things. So let's have a look at what they can do. Hi, my name's Emma. And my name's Lana. And, and we're, we're going to do a dance today. We're best friends and we've been practicing for a very long time. We'll be doing a dance to a remix including Fancy and Thriller. We hope, hope you enjoy, enjoy our amazing, amazing performance. <laughs> <laughs>
Well now it's time to sit down with these girls who did such an awesome performance. So how did you feel it actually went today? Um, I think it went pretty good. Yeah. Um, probably our best, probably, yeah. Yay, cool. Have you done that exact dance or performance for anyone else before? Um, no, actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's an exclusive here on Mr. TV. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. How did you feel? It went? <laughs> I thought it went really good. Yeah. Like, don't, we don't mess up on anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. That is the main thing. Um, now, tell me about how you guys actually came up with the dance and things like that. Did you actually make all the moves yourself? Yeah, we just made the remix and then... That's where the remix we just it just everything came. Yeah. So you actually made the backing track yourself? Yeah. Far out. How did you how did you do that? I went on GarageBand and just cut all the songs to the bit we wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did did you so did you already know how to do that sort of stuff from school or something like that? From my sister. Oh sweet. <laughs> you mean, has she made her own remixes before? Pardon? Has she made her own remixes before? Yep. Yeah. Legit. I haven't heard of any, I've heard of like heaps of people in our competition making up their own moves, but not their own music, so good effort on that. Um, so what made you choose those songs that you did in the song? Um, well, they were the popular songs when we yeah. um, made it, and we thought they'd be like really easy to dance to, because it's yeah. got like good rhythm and stuff. Yeah, and what was the process like of actually coming up with the dance moves? Did you guys have any arguments or anything over moves? Well, we are best friends, so yeah. we worked pretty easy together. Yeah, yeah. So That's good. yeah, we just she does lots of dancing, so we just thought of lots of cool moves and cool. stuff. Cool. Yeah. 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 Did it take you long to put it together, though? Um, not really. Yeah. Just at Lana's house and just yeah. making it. Nice, good stuff. So, what were some of your favourite moves then in the dance? I'm um, probably the starting when I come on and I go like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and um, probably lots of the gymnastics. Stuff, yeah, yeah. It's, that's that's really fun. <laughs> yeah, and because obviously you guys are in the cheerleading group as well, so you've yeah. got that kind of influence there too. What were some of your favourite moves? The siding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think my favourite was the one where you have to like hold like your legs. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Is that quite hard to do? Um. Yeah, well, I kept, when, when we were practicing, I kept on dropping her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That is what I'd do. Or I'd get like real nervous and get sweaty hands, and then just like, that's a bit gross. Your legs would like slip out of my hands. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Not so good. So, do you guys actually learn dance together or anything? Um, well, we went to a dance workshop and we learnt lots of things together, and we do lots of dancing together. Yeah. Yeah. Just in your free time and stuff. Yeah. So you don't actually like go to a dance school and do stuff. I do dancing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Whereabouts do you learn? Um, at Jillian Moore. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah. What styles of dance and stuff do you learn? Um, tap and jazz. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> I'm loving seeing like a whole mashup of stuff though in that performance. So good work there, and thanks heaps for hanging out with us today. Well, sadly, that is all we have time for. It's been awesome to check out heaps of different stuff that we got up to over our time at Hazel School Got Talent Schools. And don't forget that we are officially wrapping up our Hazel School Got Talent competition next week, where we will be finding out a different winner from the competition every day, because we have five categories to announce winners for. So that means five days of awesome prizes and things that we'll be finding out about. So I'll see you guys on the show tomorrow for the last day of the week. Bye. This has been an Alpha Media Production, a division of Television Media Group.